Hey everybody, it's uh, Leonard Kinsey's Doing Cool Shit vlog, or whatever the hell I'm going to call it. Kinsey's Cool Shit, someone said, cool with a K. Uh, anyway, I'm um, actually back here at Milk House Farm Brewery. And you can see it is in the country. It is gorgeous. I am drinking a cast condition double IPA. Cast condition means, uh, well, they put in a cask, a wood cask, and it's... Uh, cellar temperature so it's not quite cold um, not warm and uh, it's uh, not highly carbonated either and it lets you taste the beer a little bit more uh, the flavor of the beer this is a double IPA so that means it's really hoppy high alcohol like 9% alcohol I think so yeah um, beautiful day out here in Maryland 80 degrees and sunny and you know we had a really rough winter here uh just long and cold and really fucking depressing actually so i've kind of been spending these nice days just getting out as much as possible uh getting some sun um so today i'm going to be doing the brewery and i'm also going to be doing some wine tasting at some local wineries so they also sell artisanal cheeses here at the Milk House Brewing Company. They give you this little board and knife and everything to cut it. Um, this is the, uh, we've got the Der Alpen Kaas case and a, uh, a savory cheddar. And they're both excellent. And these come from, I think, Pennsylvania Dutch people. Yeah, Howard PA, you got the little um, horse and buggy there. Um, yeah, it's great, really nice. Okay, here at uh, Low Vineyards, this is uh, up in, Frederick, Maryland. Drinking some wine, just did a wine tasting here. Um, then they sell wine by the glass, so I got a glass of the red. And then they said, feel free to trounce around the vineyards, even though nothing's really growing here. So I am trouncing around the vineyards. Um, so as you can see, getting some little buds here. Uh, they're getting there. We're gonna get some grapes soon. Down a dirt road to get to this next winery it is not very well paved. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ! Shit. What the fuck! <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Slow. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Big bottle. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. So this place is pretty nuts. It's a uh, Black Ankle winery. The wines are excellent, like really, really good, like the best ones I've had in Maryland, and very expensive. And yeah, it's uh, it's pretty amazing, very European. I'm going to take you on a little tour of it right now. Okay, so we've got a glass of port, and then look at this. You can order a baguette and olive oil to dip it in. The baguette's like 250, the olive oil is like five bucks. And then, uh, yeah, it's like some spiced like olive oil, and you just dip the bread in it. This is pretty wild, actually. You would not expect to find something like this in the middle of nowhere in Maryland. Like, this is literally in the middle of the country, like off a dirt road. Um, it's like a secret rich people place. <laughs> I feel like we're infiltrating, like, infiltrating the, uh, the rich people's hideout. 
All right, here at uh, Elk Run Vineyards. And uh, again, this is very European. Uh, it's kind of this big, they have a tent and uh, just a lot of places to sit, picnic tables, and yeah, you can get some wine and just kind of hang out in nature. So I got a uh, glass of port and uh, it's a half pour. So the deal is port is wine that has been fortified with brandy. So they take wine, a red wine, and they mix it with brandy and they stick it in a cask, uh, some sort of oak or something, and age it. And it all mixes together and blends together in this wonderful concoction that happens to be very high in alcohol. So I think this is 19% alcohol, which is why they serve you a half pour instead of a full glass. Because for normal people, if they drank a full glass of port, they'd probably be pretty drunk. For me, yeah, probably not so much. They should probably just pour me a full glass because I'm like awesome. Um, so yeah, let me taste it. It's really good. I have enjoyed port for years now. I really got into it when I first started drinking and uh, tried a whole bunch of different kinds. And you can find it aged like 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. It ages well because it's such high, so high in alcohol content. Um, so I encourage you to go out and try some port. And if you don't like it, leave a comment and tell me why you don't like it because I feel like if you don't like port, you maybe shouldn't be watching my videos because you're kind of a jerk. <laughs> anyway, all right. This is the last stop of the day. So Leonard Kinsey doing cool shit out of here. Bye-bye.